to purging That only God can do These lumps are filled with leaven and they need to Hey guys, this is St. Quentin. I have uh, brought you all here today to uh, witness something uh, important. It's very important. As a matter of fact, some of you might call me uh, extreme. Uh, that won't be the first time. I've been called over the top. I've been called extreme. I've had people tell me that they think I'm in a cult. Well, uh, you know, if your idea of being in a cult is following Jesus Christ and the example put forth in His Word, then call it what you will. But I am a follower of Jesus Christ and a believer of the Word of God. Now today, you're going to be witness of something. Now the Bible says in Galatians 5, chapter 24, that those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed the passions and desires of their sinful nature to His cross. And they crucified them there. Since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Now I have to say that what I'm about to do today, I'm sure that many of you will think I'm crazy. My own wife thinks I'm crazy. But you know what? I'm not concerned about what people think of me. All I'm concerned about is what God thinks of me and whether I'm fulfilling His will in my life. This is an instructional video because I believe many of you need to do the same thing. You need to crucify your flesh. The Bible says to crucify yourself, to take up your cross and follow Christ. You can't repent without putting away and crucifying that old fleshly nature, the sinful desires the desires of the flesh. You have to crucify that sinful nature and tack it up on the cross with Jesus. Then you need to be buried with Him and raised to new life. So we see here it says that Christ, uh, those who belong to Christ have nailed them passions and desires of their sinful nature to His cross and crucified them there. So since we're living by the Spirit, we've been raised and born again, we're living by the Spirit of God, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Now I'm feeling a leading by the Holy Spirit to do this today. And that is to put away the things of my past, that sinful nature, even those things I had to go through and clean out my closet because there's many things that many of you might not even think there's anything wrong with, but there's things that are worldly. One of my favorite verses in the Word of God is Romans chapter 12, starting at verse 1. He says, I appeal to you therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice. That's because we're a temple. We're the temple where the Holy Spirit dwells. Jesus come to baptize us with the Holy Spirit. He no longer dwells in buildings, but He dwells in us. It says, holy and acceptable to God, which is our spiritual worship. We're to present ourselves as holy and acceptable to God. That is, without sin. Now in verse 2 it says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good, acceptable, and perfect. What is the patterns of the world? Look around you. Sin in general. Everybody's in rebellion against God. So now, without further ado, I'm going to crucify myself right here on camera live for you all to see today. You know, it's barbecue season. So let's fire up the barbecuer. Right, as you guys can see, that's 15 pounds. 15 pounds of CDs, DVDs, a uh, good majority of them even being uh, quote-unquote Christian music that's supposed to glorify God. Here we've got some Guardian, uh, Junker George, uh, Bride. We've got Lord of the Rings. We've got The Matrix. We've got the whole series. Knight's Tale, Men of Honor, Die Hard. All kinds of movies. And uh, Pocahontas too. I'm going to glorify the Great Spirit. Uh, worship Mother Earth in that movie. That's uh, the Illuminati's way of 
reaching children through wicked Disney movies. Uh, we've got Brantley Gilbert for all you country music fans. He's halfway to heaven. Uh, I didn't know you could be somewhere in between. Well, let me tell you something. He's uh, he's nowhere close to heaven. He's a wicked sinner, and he will burn in hell unless he repents. Hank Jr., you know, he's just an old party animal washed up. He ain't going nowhere. And then we've got over here, we've got uh, Final Fantasy. We've got Change Up, Marion Man, Diablo for these games that I used to play. World of Warcraft, I was stuck in that for many years time to get rid of that garbage the sad thing is we can see right here and this is this is an old one that uh, over five million online playing this game that was the first game the world of warcraft that was before the expansions came out i believe they wound up in uh i don't know what they are as of late but i know a few years ago they were up to about 15 million people playing no more crumbs rod parsley that man is nothing but a showman uh he wants to get his church as big as he can, and he's just a showman. You can see when he's up on stage prancing around and shouting that he's all about showmanship. He's all about increasing his numbers. Uh, Creflo Dollar, Lord, teach me how to love. He doesn't know how to love because he doesn't know nothing about God. He doesn't even know God. With a name like Dollar, I doubt his last name is even Dollar. He's just all into that prosperity message and uh, doesn't preach the gospel. Hey, what better way to start this thing up than with a little bit of a... A little bit of kindling, maybe. No More Crumbs by Pastor Rod Parsley. I believe I got this book for a, a love gift of $25, $35. Man just trying to line his pocket and get rich. When did the church become a business? Alright, Creflo Dollar. If I want to learn how to love, I learn it from God's Word. In the name of Satan, what is that supposed to mean anyway? You cast demons out, you cast them out in the name of Jesus, not in the name of Satan. There's no power in the name of Satan. Warcraft. Witchcraft. Wizardry. Think about how many marriages this game has ruined. How many fathers and mothers turned out to be deadbeats because they ignore their children and would rather play this game nonstop? I know at the high point of my addiction to this game, I was spending about 14 hours a day playing. My wife would bring me dinner at the computer desk so I could play my stupid game. Think about all these people. How is that not idolatry? To put anything before God. To put anything first before God. Not to devote your time to Him, but to devote it to a stupid game. There are vessels of gold and silver. Vessels of wood and earth. Some of shame and some of worth. We are God's dwelling place and there are useful things in us. But if they cannot be tried with fire, then they should only turn to dust. We need a purging that only God can do. These lumps are filled with leaven and they need to be made new. We need right to there be purified and holy. It's the worldly things that used to take a hold of my life. Rated R movies. Music that's worldly. Religion. Christianity that's out to make a buck and lead people astray and divert them from the true gospel of Jesus Christ. It's all going to burn. Just like anybody that follows this garbage. You have to get this crap out of your life so that you can be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Get the garbage out. Get away from TV and read the Word of God. Be transformed. Vessels of gold and silver, vessels of wood and earth, some of shame and some of worth. 
We are God's dwelling place and there are useful things in us. But if they cannot be tried with fire, then they should only turn to dust. We need a purging that only God can do. These lumps are filled with leaven and they need to be made new. We need to be purified and holy, sanctified and true. Set apart for the master's will and fit for the master's use. We need a purging that only God can do. These lumps are filled with leaven and they need at the Godfather series, I've only got one God and one Father. Set apart for the Master's will and fit for the Master's use. The time is yet appointed, and some will be made.